Hi, I'm Allie, and I'm Living Chronic Faith. Thanks for stopping by. It is December 2023. What an amazing year this has been. And I am so excited to see what God has for us in 2024. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. We've still got several days left in this year. And I know that God has amazing, wonderful plans for each of us for the rest of this year. So as we finish out 2023, let's give December to God so that we can finish this year strong and set ourselves up for success in the new year according to his will. Let's do that by offering a word of prayer and thanking him for everything that he has done so far. Wonderful Jesus, we just give you praise, honor, and glory because there is none like you. Lord, we thank you for 2023. Lord, for all that you have done for us and thank you for keeping us and protecting us. Thank you for making ways for us and providing for us every single day. Thank you, Lord God, for being a redeemer and a friend, a comforter and a keeper, a father, Lord God. Thank you for every single blessing. God, thank you for brand new mercies that you gave us every single morning. Thank you for grace to cover all of our shortcomings. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord God, just for being good to us and for loving us in spite of ourselves. Thank you, Lord, for people who supported us and who surrounded us with love, Lord God. And thank you for sustaining us, God, in those moments when even it seemed lonely. And we might have felt like ourselves, Lord, you have been there. You've been consistent and you've never left us. Thank you. Thank you for your favor. Thank you for always giving us hope. Thank you for never, ever letting us down, never failing, never allowing your word to fall to the ground. And thank you for this moment. Thank you, Lord, that we get to recognize you for who you are. Thank you that we have the freedom to come to you, that you have given us permission to come boldly before your throne of grace. And thank you that you choose to receive us into yourself. Thank you that you choose to extend your mercy and your grace. Thank you that you desire to help us in our time of need. Lord, but not only do we thank you for what you've done, we thank you, Lord, that you already have plans in the works for us, plans to prosper us and not to harm us, plans to give us a hope in a future. Thank you for everything that you have already orchestrated and coordinated for the rest of 2023. Lord, help us not to be so anxious for the new year that we forget to honor you and seek you in the remainder of this year. Lord, I know that there are so many things that you have for us that you are just waiting to bless us with, Lord God. Help us to be excited about everything that you do, Lord, that we may always stand in awe of your goodness and your wonderful works towards us. Lord, there's none like you. And we just thank you. We recognize your majesty and we absolutely adore you. So, Lord, we are grateful for all of your blessings to us so far. We're grateful for the very good plan that you have for each of us, Lord. And we just submit even in this moment. We offer you the month of December, God, everything that will happen in our lives, everything that we will do and say. We offer that to you, Lord God, for your purposes. We offer it to you, God, that you will be pleased in every single part of our lives. Lord, we want to do what pleases you, not just pleases you, but excites you, God. We want to make you happy with the lives that we live. We want to walk in obedience to everything that you say to us and about us. So, Lord, help us to be in alignment with you like never before, that as we celebrate this month of December, as we celebrate the holiday season, God, that we will be in lockstep with you, that we will never let it stray from our minds the reason for the season. Lord, that you allowed Emmanuel, God with us, to be in a human form on this earth to redeem us and to atone for all of our sins. God, to pay the debt that we could never pay. Thank you for Jesus. Now, Father, we just ask that you would just look at each and every one of these, your children. Everyone that is praying with me right now, I pray, God, that your hand of favor would rest heavily on their lives. I pray, God, that those connected to them would benefit from the overflow of what you're doing in and through them. I pray, Lord God, that you would reveal yourself to them like never, yourself to them like never before. 
And I pray, Lord God, that we will be able to see you in everywhere that we go and everything that we take part in and in everything that we do. God, that we would remember you. Hallelujah. That you are the one that gives us the ability to have the activity of our limbs, that you give us our intellect, God, that you give us the ability to even have an income, Lord God. That all that we have and all that we are comes directly from you. And there is no other source, God, that is able to provide what you provide. And Lord, we have no need to worry or stress out or be anxious about what we don't have or what we have need of. Because, Lord, the cattle upon a thousand hills belongs to you. And you have promised, you have committed yourself to supplying all of our needs according to your riches and glory. And we can imagine that the treasury of heaven is resplendent with gold and precious gems and all the things, Lord, that we might lack here on earth. That there is no shortage of provision in the heavenly treasury. So, Lord, we look to you for every need that we have. God, I pray that you would bless your people with the financial resources that they have need of, with the tangible resources that they have need of, and even with the human support, God, that they need to come around them. I pray, God, that you would grant them strength that only comes from you. I pray, God, for peace and for joy and for love. I pray, God, even for a fresh infusion of hope, God, where hope has been waning, I pray, Lord God, that for every situation where they have lost confidence, Lord God, where they have begun to doubt that you are indeed on the way with a solution, I pray, God, that you restore their hope, that you build them up in their most holy faith, God, that there will be nothing, God, that can shake it, but that they would constantly lean into your wisdom and into your promises, Lord, that we will revisit every scripture that tells us what you are going to do for us, knowing that you are not a man that you should lie, nor a son of man that you should repent. God, if you have spoken it, you will perform it. And if you have said it, you will make it good. And we know that to be true. We have seen your track record, God, and you have always come through for us. So Lord, help us to believe in those spaces where disbelief has tried to creep in, restore our faith and help us, God, even to share that faith with others, to remind them that you are exactly who you say you are. Lord, we pray for our nation. God, we pray for leaders, Lord, that they would lead with your heart, that they would seek you for wisdom and that they would walk in alignment with your word. We pray for leaders in your church, God, that they would have the strength and the discernment, God, and just the wisdom, Lord God, to lead your people in a way that is pleasing to you and that will build the people of God so that we can be the ambassadors for Christ that we are called to be. Lord, help us to intercede for those who are in positions of authority. Lord, they have such a heavy task and so much responsibility on them, Lord God, while they are still navigating their own personal challenges. Help us, God, to intercede and not judge. Help us to remember, God, that they are human beings. But help us, God, to also pray that your supernatural anointing and favor and direction would rest on them, God, as they lead. So that they are no longer operating in their natural, but that they are operating in the supernatural that you have bestowed on them. Lord, I pray for peace in every nation that is touched by war and violence. I pray, Lord God, for the violence in our nation, Lord God. All of the shootings that have taken place, Lord, I know, break your very heart. And I pray right, God, right now, God, for a cease to the violence. I pray, God, for the correct oversight in our government, Lord God, to decrease those incidences of violence, Lord. I pray, Lord, that you would help us to speak up for justice and for mercy. Lord, and that we would observe that in our own lives. Lord, I pray for everyone that is praying with me, Lord, that you would help them if they have need to forgive others, that you would grace them with the ability to forgive and to let go, God, of that thing that they are holding on to so that they themselves can move on, that they can move forward and find their way towards the path that you have for them instead of staying in that same spot holding on to that grudge. Lord, we know that there are so many challenges that come out of the fact that there are things that we are holding on to that we need to let go of. So Lord, whether it be fear, whether it is insecurity, Lord God, or whatever it is that we may be holding on to, Lord, help us to surrender it to you even in this moment so that you can exchange it, God, for your peace. 
We thank you, Lord God, that your grace is sufficient for us, no matter what it is that we're going through. But Lord, we trust that you have healing for us healing for our bodies, healing for our emotions, healing for our minds. And Lord, we just say right now that we agree with your word that says that with your stripes, we are healed. So Lord, we thank you in advance for the healing that you have for us. And we receive it even right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, I just thank you for each person that is watching this video. I thank you, God, for each member of Living Chronic Faith. I pray, Lord, that you would bless their socks off. I pray, God, that those that you have ordained to be served by this ministry will be drawn to it. And I pray, Lord, that you will equip us, Lord, to serve and serve them well. And Lord, we just thank you for all of your goodness. As we look toward 2024, we are excited for the blessings that you have for us. God, help us to walk into it with a new obedience and with a fresh yes on our lips for you. A yes to your will and a yes to everything that you have called us to do. Lord, we are ready. And we are willing and we know that by your spirit, we are made able each and every day to walk in obedience to you. So, God, we thank you for your perfect will. We thank you, Lord, that you are calling us to alignment with you and that you have given us what we need to do that. We say, yes, Lord, have your way. It is in Jesus name that we pray and we give you thanks. Amen. All right, everybody, happy December. I'm so excited just for what God is going to do this month. The year is not over, so let's celebrate what we have left in this year and let's look ahead towards what God wants to do for us in 2024. I love you. I'm praying for you and I'll talk to you soon. Have a great December.